Hey guys, what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama and today is Sunday and I have done two videos and this is my third one. I'm so proud of myself because like in my other videos I have said I have a hard time doing videos when I'm at home. When you guys see those videos over and over and over all fast, that's when I'm like gone away from my family and not here. But when I'm home, it is so hard to find time to make videos. But so today I have some time. Actually, it's because one of my sons asked where his energy nuts were and I was like, oh crap, I have to do a Dollar Tree haul and put all that stuff away. So yeah, so let's get started on this Dollar Tree haul. And I have not been like a biggest fan. I'm not really looking for stuff to clutter up my house at all. So I went looking for one specific thing. I'm trying to find storage bins to keep doing my garage in my craft room. But I found this and it is by Spongibles, and it's a body wash in a sponge. I love it, and it says anti-cellulite. I'm like, hmm, just scrub this little baby all over my body every day. So it's a body wash in a sponge, anti-cellulite, smooth and improved. It says care and use instructions. Use every day or as needed to nourish, to nourish, invigorate, and revitalize. Thoroughly wet sponge and scream, I'm so sorry, squeeze to form a creamy lather exfoliate and massage all over body paying special attention to any areas in need of a little TLC okay but this is peony blossom and it says it's got 12 plus uses and so I thought that would be fun to try out so I did pick up two um, just because I thought they were pretty cool I don't know but it's a four-in-one more moisturizes exfoliates massages and cleanses so these are by Spongibles so I think those are a cool little deal I actually for once remembered to bring something, so I'm gonna take my stuff and put them into this bag as I show you guys, I think. Okay, let's keep going. I did pick up one more of each of the locker rugs because I do want to make two more little kind of like purse satchel things. But I was also thinking, so these already have, um, I, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I had made a video of how I use these with like hardly Sorry, my son's messing around. Hardly any um, things, and it was all Dollar Tree stuff I used to make um, little like satchels or whatever with them. These are the only two colors that I have found at my store, but after I got two different colors, I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, so when I did my little like whatever's you wanna call it, little purse things, I folded them this way, which is still cute, but I was like, oh my gosh, like how cute would it be to make like a crossbody bag and you could get two of the same colors and just like I did on mine, glue them down the sides or whatever. The seams are already done for you, so and they would be the same color, but not two different colors. But you could just do that and you could just put like a really pretty chain cord. Um, some people use that parachute cording, whatever you wanted, like over the top right here, and it could be a crossbody bag. That's so cute. Or, I mean, you could literally cut like get another one of these and cut it into sections and um, somehow attach it together and that could be the crossbody portion. Yeah, so anyways, I want to go back and get one of each color again to make little crossbody bags. They're locker rugs, but um, I don't know if kids use lockers anymore. I gotta be honest, I don't even think I used a locker when I was in high school, but I'm not using it for a locker rug. I found more shirts and in this Dollar Tree, they it looked like it was like a Walmart almost, like. They just had this huge, like it wasn't just shoved into, like some places I looked, they're just shoved everywhere, but it was like all stacked out nicely. I mean, they had a whole wall full of clothes. It was crazy, but I didn't pick up a lot because I'm not trying to hoard my house, but I'm always, always looking for just plain shirts with nothing on them. I can wear them for work or whatever. And since I work at more than one company, I don't want anything written on them because, well, you know, like they're different companies and you don't want to have a, one company's name written on your shirt or anything and some companies are more lenient some companies aren't so just have a shirt with nothing on it and so I thought this was a beautiful color that I don't have I think it's like a, a mint greenish almost or something I don't know I really like it it says extra small I assure you guys this is not an extra small um, no like so always pick them up and look because then sometimes there's smalls that I try to put on and I get stuck like this and I'm like okay this is not a small and this is extra small and I mean it's it's gonna fit like let's be honest I am usually like a medium um, and I like for stuff to be baggy this probably won't be baggy Ouch, my hair and remind you I have you know another shirt on and I have half my hair under here but yeah so this 
is saying that it's an extra small and I assure you, I mean, it's loose around my stomach and stuff. This is not an extra small, no. So again, just look at, um, you know, the, like what size they are when you get them. Or I mean, let's pick them up and look at them. That was a long story. And then I did pick up this color. It says extra small also by American Apparel. It just has the pink. But I also got these because I have, um, remember before I had ordered from um, Shirtique Boutique and I bought so many of the transfers from her to put on the shirts. And so some of these I do, like this one, I think I wanna put um, the Will Smith one on here. I think that would be so cute. So I wanna get that and maybe like bleach it up a little and then like put some paint splatter on it and like cut the bottoms. I don't know, I'll show you guys. I've done, been doing quite a bit of clothes. So this one is actually, like I said, I like the pink because it's a light color, but it's not white. So then I can paint splatter and it's gonna go perfect with the Will Smith thing. And I think I'm gonna wear it to San Francisco. I feel like that's like a San Francisco thing. Um, so again, I have been organizing and since I have been doing quite a bit of um, like selling, I think I looked today and I think I've sold like 15 things in two weeks, which to me is good. Um, but I am not organized. And so I just picked up this drop binder right here. Um, I do have, I picked up this also to go in it and I have a million of these, but I didn't want to have to try to find it and I just wanted it right away. And so I'm going to put this in here. I do have a notebook that I write absolutely everything in, but then I was like, my receipts can go in here. They can go in here. Um, like when I get the tracking numbers from the post office, all that stuff can just go right into here. Um, and then I can just keep everything on to sit myself in one spot. But I do keep a notebook of everything I list, what I paid. Um, what it sold for and what my um, portion was. I still don't understand the portions, how they go on eBay or Poshmark. Like they'll say, oh, it's this much. And I'm like, mm, it's sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. I don't know, but whatever. But I picked this up. I love this color. So that's what I picked that up for. And then I picked these up from like the the is the hair section but it's like the back to school section and I'm not usually a big fan of these things but first these are not the small ones that might get stuck in my hair and second I loved these colors look at this one it's like the yellow and white together so cute I love that and then here's the bright yellow and the brown these are colors I have not seen before so I was like no I need those I need them and I don't usually pick up a whole lot of hair stuff because I have a lot of hair stuff, a lot, and I have a lot of hair, and so a lot, sometimes the hair stuff doesn't always work in my hair, um, but those, like I said, I had not seen before, and I really like those. I got this haul a couple days ago, so mine are gone, but I found the Moon Pies in Lemon. They were amazing, amazing, like, oh my gosh, they were so good. I, the whole box is gone, so I can't show you them. But I picked up this one, and this one is, this is not for me, this is for my husband. It's the salted caramel. Now this one is the double decker, where the lemon one is just the, like the top cake and the bottom cake and the marshmallow in between, which is fine. But I cannot eat these like this. Like I have to peel off the top layer, then eat the marshmallow, and then eat the bottom layer. Like I, everything, like Kit Kats, I eat the chocolate off the outside and then I take the layers off one at a time. Oreos, I have to eat the middle and then dump the outside in milk, it's, I don't know. But, so these are my husband's double decker and these are salted caramel moon pies. I think he's gonna love them. So I got him those. Or, and my kids, I guess, but I'm not gonna eat them. My oldest son eats oatmeal like it's going out of style and so I picked this up I don't know if he's gonna like it he usually I only buy him one kind of oatmeal but I saw it and he I forgot as soon as I saw it I was like oh I forgot we needed oatmeal this is strawberries and cream and peaches and cream and it's just six packets um, by Ralston Foods I don't know I'll let you guys know but that's just six packets of oatmeal I did pick up two of those as soon as I find them and I was trying to be kind of organized and show you the second box. Oh, here we go. Oh, please. Okay. Somehow that got stuck down in there. So, oh, here's what my son's looking for. Just these Imperial Nuts. I buy these every single time I find them. 2.25 ounces. They used to be 2.75 before it went to $1.25. But my, they have the honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks, almonds, walnuts, and pecans. My 17 year old love these. Like, I think there's four more packages in here and he'll end up just putting them in his car and like for when he wants them, when he goes and plays basketball. 
These are all melted because if you watch my other videos, it's like 105 degrees for like the past week. So these are Hershey's with almonds that are going to go into our candy jar, which I do not fill up very often, only once in a while. But now these will go in the freezer. And you can find them at like Dollar General and stuff for a dollar, but I was just there, so I happened to get them. Another box of the mixed fruit um, oatmeal. But then I picked this up, maple and brown sugar, and this is like his absolute favorite. And this is just pure maple and brown sugar with six packets. So I picked up two of those. Again, um, just the Ralston Foods, yeah, instant oatmeals. So I picked him up two of those. So a lot of this stuff is like, snacks for right now, snacks for when we go on our trip to San Francisco and stuff like a lot of this is probably like food because again, I'm not trying to bring in anything that's going to reclutter my house. I mean, it's not even decluttered yet. So I did pick these up, just the peanut butter crackers, Lance Toasty, um, six packs of four sandwiches, two boxes of them just because they're peanut butter crackers and my boys love peanut butter crackers. My middle son loves these sugared strawberry wafers, and I do too, actually, but I have to, again, break the layers up. Um, and there's 20 packs in here, but I love these guys because these are individually packed. So there is two in each pack, which is amazing. So like when we go to San Francisco, I will bring this whole package with us, and I will just, like, when I open it, they're not all going to go everywhere. I'll just take all the individual packets out, take a couple out each day, and put them into my backpack where I'm going to keep the snacks. And I don't have to worry about bringing like the Ziploc bags and doing all that. They're already pre-packaged. I love it. Just grab these, throw one package in a lunch. It's already in its package. Love it. So I got that. I got these because I thought I was going to make tacos the day I got it, but that was like two days ago and I didn't. I did just pick up the Torolini Del Barrio Fresh and Soft 22 Tortillas. Um, <laughs> we could use these for our tortilla challenge if you guys watched that video, but these are too small. Um, but we do need to pick up some very good hearty tortillas so we can play that game again. Um, but yeah, this is just 22 corn tortillas. I think that might be all the food, but I did pick these up. I love these things. So they are the lock top snacks containers with lids. First of all, I love these because they're not just push on. They actually latch on the side. And then I love these because playing cards fit perfectly in these. So if you have Uno cards, you know, like, once you start opening the boxes, they start ripping. So Uno cards, like phase 10 or whatever cards, like Skippo cards, regular playing cards. Like if you, um, like my family loves to play poker. So like their poker cards, sometimes I'll put in these things. But the cards, any kind, if you have ATC cards and you make your, um, your ATC cards out of your playing cards, you can put them in here when you're done. Yeah. And like, how cute would it be if you made a really cute one and you don't want to get messed up? So you put it in here in one of these and then like send it off to someone. I love these things. Decorate this up, have the ATC card in there. But these were sitting right next to the other ones that had two. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's me. Sometimes I don't pay attention. These are the three. They say snack containers with lids. I really don't use them much for food. I mean, you definitely could, but I, like I said, I use them for like organizing. I love to put playing cards and stuff like that in them. So they're not just laying around our closet. Sorry, go through that one. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on moving. I do not know what it is with me and books lately, guys. I have no idea. I, like I said, I do not really ever pick up books, but lately I just can't stop. I did pick up this official Fortnite Battle Journal, your daily Battle Royale logbook. And the only reason I actually picked this up is because, like last year, I picked up the Battle Royale book of. Um, something else on it. So now I have like this one and I have that one and I can send them off to my nephew. And so this one you actually log stuff. So you put your own journals in and your own stuff. But like I said, I wouldn't have just got this alone. But when I saw this, I was like, wait, I have that other book. And so I just think it's a cute little gift to put these two together. So I have that. And then I did finally find this. I have no idea what I want it for. I've never seen the book, but everyone was getting it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. So it's called The World of Disney, A Wrinkle in Time, The Making of the Movie, A Behind the Scenes Look at the Major Motion Picture from Walt Disney Studios by Kate Egan. And so to be honest, I think that I might give this to my oldest son. So it says US is $39.99. And I might give it to my middle son, even though it's not Star Wars, he loves anything like movie-ish and all that. And so this is like how 
the movie was made and I think that he will just love this book because it's just like you know it's just going to show him different things about like making it and like I said that is exactly what he's going to school for and I just think that he will just love that book so I will probably give it to him when we go to San Francisco he is meeting us there it'll be our first family vacation with all of our children and us together so it'll be fun there will be six of us trying to live together I did pick these up also because I have not seen these ones either I'm not into like the regular small little ones but I feel like these ones are definitely bigger and so these are the hair spirals and there's three this is a beautiful like a peachy color for mauve this is the white and blue and then just the blue I feel like these are very nautical so I got those I'm trying to figure out how to put them I've got these before but every time I see them I just love them and they are the tech stickers 25 pieces I just love them like they have roller skates they have the soda bottle um, the little cappuccino thingy right there I mean Oh my gosh, just so many things. I love them. So I got those again. I did pick this up. And so this is the mesh laundry bag. But it's like the teal. I thought I got the other one too. Maybe not. I might have it. It might be in another bag. Or the coral, I mean. This is such a beautiful color. So I was thinking like, again, how cute would this be to put over a tumbler? I'm not going to use it for a laundry bag. To either put over a tumbler and then to epoxy it like that or to cut it up and then I can use it for different um, to go on top of different notebooks for the mesh um, I just yeah I, ha I do not have any intentions on wearing putting this um, as a bag because it will rip as soon as I put my clothes in there and then I'm trying to put this stuff away and be a little bit you know I did pick these up 70 piece of these stickers and I picked these up because I want to do um, kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to use the wrong word, but like tribal Indian kind of um, tumbler. And I had picked up the one, this the large sticker like this from the Dollar Tree, and it says Be Wild. And I thought I could cover the whole entire tumbler with all these stickers and then put the Be Wild on it. And I just thought it would be such a beautiful kind of um, like tribal, I'm not trying to use the wrong word, but just a very, like very, very cute, um, Tumblr, so I picked that up. I did pick these up, and these are just the square cookie boxes, two pieces, 6.25 by 6.25 by three inches. So there's two in each one. I picked up the pink polka dots and the blue stripes. And I picked these up more for Christmas, but my husband's work always wants me to bake for them, and I love baking for them. And I'm always trying to send them in a container, and uh, my husband is not the best at bringing my containers home. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just pick some of these up and I'm sure, like there's no doubt in my mind, they'll be used by Christmas. And then I'll just pick up more if I find more. But um, I take them to my work. I take them to my husband's work. Um, I also am going to do like a hot cocoa and Christmas cookie thing in my front yard this year to kind of get to know my neighbors. Um, our, our subdivision, gated community, whatever, consists of two streets. That's it, two streets. Um, and so what I want, and last year we had just moved in in July and I started getting sick in August and it just was not good. And so this year I just want to have a night where we sit out there with like some cookies and like hot cocoa and stuff and then the neighbors come over. And so I thought I could just put them out there in this, you know, and then they can take them out of there. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know my plan, but I think I only have two more bags. And so let's see what I got here. These are new things I had not seen. So this is the Leaping Leopard, but it's a premium balsamic vinegar, six fluid ounces, 6% acidity. And I do not ever buy balsamic vinegar because it's so expensive at the stores and you don't use it very much. But I love to put this balsamic vinegar on top of like some tomatoes and some mozzarella cheese. Mm, amazing. Or some salad, whatever. So I picked this up for 125 because I thought that was a good deal. I did pick up another of the Ultra Palm Olives Spray Away. I did show you guys this on my Tumblr video. I was comparing the the Power Wash Dawn to this, excuse me, to like design paint on my tumblers, but this is one I actually picked up to use in the house. And then I did pick up this, and they had so many different colors, and I really liked this one. And this is just a mixing bowl. 
Um, but all I have is like glass ones. I have no idea where any of my other ones went. All I have is glass. Um, and so I picked this up and I just love the color. They had it in different colors with my kitchen. My kitchen is like a bluish. This is not blue, but this was as close as they come. But I just picked it up, 125. And like I said, I'm not trying to use the glass all the time. So I got those. Hold on guys. I have one more bag. We're doing great. What is in my last bag? Ooh. Oh, so I picked up more of these, apparently in a different color. That's a really cute one. I might use these ones in my craft room for different things and then use the other ones in my in my game closet because I do um, have that, that dark blue in my other one. And so these I might use in here. And I can put like stamps or anything in here that I want to use for my tumblers, all that stuff. So amazing. And it seals so good. I almost never either pick me up socks. It's crazy. I've just been on a thing lately. But I picked these fashion socks up for me. And they are the Beverly Hills Polo Club fashion socks. And they are shoe size 5 to 9. But I absolutely had to have these cups. I mean, these socks. I love the drink on them. And I love the sunglasses. They're so cute. So I had to get them. And I, this side just has the stripes with those. But I am just totally into those socks right there and then these ones I had to get because they're donuts and I think that they're so cute so I picked up those ones and they're just ankle socks with the stars on the other side I usually only pick up ankle socks I don't like them taller than ankle socks and I don't like no show because I don't know maybe I have too big of a foot but no shows within me walking from my bedroom to the front door is already under my foot so I'm like no not happening I picked these up I have actually oh I was like, I don't know why I picked it, but actually, yeah, my son has already started school. In Vail, we live, um, our school district is year-round school. So we started school Friday of last week. And yeah, so even the other schools are starting like August 5th. I feel like that's so much earlier than when I was younger, but July is way earlier than when I was younger. So he just needed some pen or some pencils. And I had some pencils. It's funny, I don't know if they're right here. I was like, just use those ones. He's like, I'm good. I don't need any. And I was like, no, it's fine. Nobody cares what your pencils look like. And he's like, I'm not using those pink ones. So I just picked him up these for school. He has everything else he needs. They're just the pencils, you know, but I picked me these up. And so these are six push pencils and I just think push pencils are adorable. And I remember them from when I was younger. And so these are avocados, peaches, and rainbows. Let's do it the easy way. So let's take out the avocado one, apparently without the lid because it didn't come out. Come on, work with me here. So I don't know if you guys remember him, I'm sure, but you know, you take this out and then you just put it down here and then boop, out pops your new one. And then your pencil, like your eraser is up here. Oh, I loved these when I was younger. I loved them. I think they're so cute. So I got my little pencils. That's an avocado, like I said. And then I picked up this mini fan for outside in my 105 degree weather. I think that this is going to work. I have no idea. My desk is very small that I work in outside and I don't really have a whole lot of room for a lot of stuff. And I thought, well, maybe this little one I can like hang from there and it'll do some kind of good. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do any good, but I like the color because this is the color I think I'm going with in my craft room. Sorry, I thought I saw something moving again. So I just got this. I don't know if that has any chance against 105 degree weather. And then the last two things, I believe, the last two things, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that I picked up were these. And I love these things. So these, and these ones are not exactly what I was looking for, but they'll work. But these are the foldable, the collapsible storage containers. But these ones have, so it opens like a regular storage container. It is shallow because I love the shallow. The tall ones, I think I can add more to, and you can't, it will fall out the bottom. Yeah, and then you don't know what's in the bottom. So anyways, this is folded up in there, right? And you do that. And then this goes over the top to protect whatever is in here from dust. But they had other ones that I love that were see-through on the top. And that's what I was looking for originally but they don't have them right now. But like I said, these ones I do like because if I don't want dust or something to get in there, you know, like some of the things that I'm selling or whatever happens, you know, you just put the lid on. Obviously, please don't stack these because it's not gonna go well, but the ones with the plastic on the top are much more like sturdy 
I just couldn't find them. But so I did pick up two of these and they are 11.25 inches by 11.25 inches by six inches high. And so yeah, I just picked those up. And guys, I think that is it. Like, I think that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. Literally, I just had to do it because my son was like, I want my energy nuts. And I was like, oh crap, I gotta do a Dollar Tree haul. But again, like my store had so many new things and I so wanted to get it. But I was like, Amy, where do you plan on putting nuts? And so I have kind of shade, like shook myself over from Dollar Tree to collecting clothes apparently. I don't know. But again, tomorrow we are going to get some of the vacuum bags in so that the clothes after I list them or whatever, they can go into the vacuum bags and then they'll be out of the way a little. Anyways, that is my Dollar Tree haul. I don't know where my fun little clicker went. Hmm. I lost it. My son was just sitting here. Oh, I found it. Okay, so I can push my clicker. All right, guys. I hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.